in the lecture 2 i am planning to discuss the limiting distribution stationary distribution and steady state distribution followed by that i am planning to give a description about the birth death processes and also some simple examples for the limiting distribution stationary steady state distributions and birth death processes before i go to the limiting distribution let me explain the let me give the example for the continuous time marker chain to get the time dependent solution this example is the very simplest example that is a two states continuous time marker chain the default one is a time homogeneous the state space are uh, 1 and 0 1 you can consider as up state or operational state and 0 is a down state non operation state so this can be visualized uh, for the any model in which uh, the whole dynamics can be described with the two state and the Markov property is satisfied. The system going from the state 1 to 0 or the time spending in the state 1 before moving into the state 0 that is exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda. Once it is failed that means the system is in the down state the time spent in the repair time that is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu. So, once the repair is over the system is operation state therefore, it is in the up state. So, the 0 is related to the down state and 1 is related to the up state and the mu is nothing but the mean 1 by mu is the mean time for the repair and 1 by lambda is the mean time of a failure and the failure time is exponentially distributed with the parameter lambda and the repair time is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu. This is a state transition diagram for the two state CTMC. The corresponding Q matrix, the infinite decimal generator matrix that is consists of a, it is a 2 cross 2 matrix the system going from the state 0 to 1 that rate is mu the system is going from the state 1 to 0 that rate is lambda and the diagonal uh, values are uh, minus of summation of other values that row rho sum so 0 to 0 is minus mu and 1 to 1 is uh, minus lambda therefore the rates are in the other than uh, diagonal elements and the diagonal elements are minus of sum of uh, the row values other than that L, diagonal element. So, this is nothing but in a very small interval of time delta t the system is moving from the state 0 to 1 that probability the probability of system moving from the state 0 to 1 that is nothing but the down state to the up state in a very small interval of time delta t why you are finding why you are finding the probability of delta t since the model is a time homogeneous only the interval is matter not the actual time or you can visualize this as the some time t to t plus delta t also so this is the interval of a delta small negligible interval delta t the system is moving from the state 0 to 1 that probability is nothing but the rate mu is a rate the rate is nothing but the repair rate so the mean rate mu times the delta t plus order of delta t it is a small o order of delta t means uh, as uh, delta t tends to 0 the order of delta t will be 0. Similarly, you can visualize uh, the probability of system moving from the state 1 to 0 in the interval delta t in a small interval delta t that is same as uh, the failure rate lambda times the delta t that is a small interval of time plus order of delta t. So, this order of delta t also tends to 0 as delta t tends to 0. So, using this I can make the forward Kolmogorov equation. I can go for writing a forward Kolmogorov equation or backward Kolmogorov equation, but forward Kolmogorov equation is easy to make out. 
So, if the system is in the state i at time 0, what is the net rate? The system will be in the state 1 at the time t. That net rate is nothing but what are all the inflow that probability rate minus what are all the outflows. So, that is the way you can visualize the right hand side. So, all the positive term, terms are related to the incoming rates and the, all the negative terms related to the outgoing rates. So, since it is a two state model, if the system is in the state 0 at time t, there is a possibility it, 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 it is not moved anywhere from the state 0 or it would have come from the state 1. Therefore, the incoming will be the state 1. Therefore, the system will be in the state 1 at uh, time t and starting from given that the starting from the state i, that probability multiplied by the rate sort of inflow minus because we are writing the equation for the state 0. Therefore, it is not moved from the state 0 that is a, with the rate mu it can move to the state 0 to 1. Therefore, minus mu times it does not move from the state 0. Therefore, minus mu times the probability of being in the state 0 at time t given that it was in the state i at time 0 that probability multiplied by minus mu that is a outflow and the lambda times a p i 1 t that is a inflow. Therefore, the left hand side it is a derivative of the function t it is a probability function. So, p i 0 dash t that is nothing but the net rate being in the system at time 0 sorry at time t in a state 0 given that it was in the state i at time 0 that net rate is same as a inflow minus outflow with the corresponding rates. Similarly, you can write the equation for the state 1 that means uh, you start from the state 1 either you would have moved you would have come from the state 0 to the 1 or it you did not move from the state 1. Therefore, minus lambda times p i 1 of t plus mu times p i 0 of t that is the net rate uh, corresponding to the state 1. So, now we are able to write the forward Kolmogoro equation. So, this is the interpretation of the forward Kolmogoro equation. You can write easily by making a matrix a p i j of t dash that is equal to p of t times uh, q where q is the infinitesimal generator matrix. Then also you will get the same thing. So, I am just giving the interpretation. Now, my interest is to find out the time dependent or transient solution for the this uh, two state CTMC. For that, uh, this is a difference differential equation. We need an initial condition to solve these equations. So, I make the assumption at time 0 the system is in the state 1. Therefore, the transition probability of system the p i p 1 1 of 0 that is equal to 1. Since I made the assumption the system was in the state 0 at uh, sorry the state 1 at time 0 therefore, that the being in the state 0 that is going to be 0. So, I need this both the initial conditions uh, to solve the equation. So, let me start since I made the initial condition uh, state is 1 therefore, i is equal to 1. So, I will have the first equation that is uh, I always have the summation of the probability at time t these uh, transition probabilities are going to be 1 the summation and also I have uh, two difference uh, differential equations. So, what I can do I can take the second equation in this then instead of a p 1 0 of t I can use the summation of probability is equal to 1. Therefore, the instead of a p 1 0 of t I can use a, the p 1 0 of t is nothing but 1 minus a p 1 1 of t I can substitute in the second equation. Therefore, I will get a p 1 1 dash of t is equal to minus lambda plus mu times p 1 1 of t plus mu. Substituting p 1 0 of t is equal to 1 minus p 1 1 of t in the second equation the previous slide. Now, I have to solve this differential equation the unknown is a p 1 1 of t. 
conditional probability. I have to use the initial condition P11 of 0 is equal to 1. Using that I can get, I will get a P11 of t is equal to mu divided by lambda plus mu plus a some constant e power minus lambda plus mu times t. That constant I can find out using this initial condition therefore k is equal to lambda divided by lambda plus mu. So, the P11 of t is equal to substituting k is equal to lambda divided by lambda plus mu in this equation I will get the P11 of t. Once I know the P11 of t use the first equation. So, I will get P10 of t is equal to 1 minus P11 of t therefore, P10 of t that is equal to this expression. You can cross check now if you add both the equations you will get a 1 and if you put a t equal to 0 you will get the initial condition also correctly and if you put a t tends to infinity that we are going to discuss in the limiting distribution if you put a t tends to infinity in this expression you will get a mu divided by lambda plus mu lambda divided by lambda plus mu. So, this is for the t tends to infinity therefore, if you make a matrix the limit n tends to infinity of a limit if you find out the limiting distribution of a limit t tends to infinity of a p of t. So, you will get the matrix and the, this matrix has a t tends to infinity for this example it is a 2 cross 2 matrix and that consists of a, for different values you will have a for a, now we are doing for the second row therefore, a, that is equal to lambda divided by lambda plus mu and oh sorry. and uh, this is equal to mu divided by lambda plus mu. So, if the system start from the state 1 at a t tends to infinity the system will be in the state 0 with the probability lambda divided by lambda plus mu and the system will be in the state 1 with the probability mu divided by lambda plus mu. Similarly, if you go for i is equal to 0 you will get the same derivation and you can fill up uh, what is the element here. So, this is the limiting distribution uh, probability matrix uh, and if you see that uh, the rows are going to be identical. So, you will have uh, the same identical rows in this row also. So, that means you will get the limiting distribution. I will discuss the limiting distribution in the after giving the one more example I will explain in detail. So, this is the transition probability system starting from the state 1 and being in the state 1 or 0 at a time t.